Hello guys and welcome to this video, this overview video of what we call the ultimate uncomplicated Unreal Engine guide. Now in this guide we're going to be taking you from step A to step C. So basically how to make a complete game using Unreal Engine 4. And we're gonna take all of the assumed complexities of Unreal Engine and we're gonna make them uncomplex, uncomplicated and that's what we're gonna be teaching you here. The main goal of this course is that we're basically going to set you up with the correct Unreal Engine 4 workflow. So whether you are a complete beginner that hasn't even opened the engine or installed the engine or an intermediate or an advanced this course is just good for you to watch because you will learn what the actual correct workflow is all that i'm going to be teaching you here in this course is going to be fact checked against unreal engine's own documentation and it's also combined with my own experience of the last six years of using the engine some good things to know about this course is that everything will be done completely in blueprints no prior knowledge of any programming is required and everything that i'm going to be covering in this course so all of the knowledge that I'm going to be sharing, but also the examples of how to actually make gameplay are going to be documented over at our website, over at docs.cactol.com. So docs.cactol.com will actually be this entire course, but then documented and written out. And then we're also going to have our practical copy-paste gameplay examples, basically our tutorials over at tutorials.cactol.com. There you can just check it out. You can copy-paste this code and integrate it into your own projects. So. What is this course consisted out of? Well, basically, first I'm going to just make you comfortable with the engine. So we're gonna talk about why we use Unreal Engine in the first place. Then we're going to talk about how you install the engine and then installing the normal release version versus the source release version. Then we're also going to talk about the license that you have with Unreal Engine. So basically what are the costs? So basics like that. And then from there, we're gonna take you through what actually happens when you open up the editor. So we're gonna get you comfortable with the editor interface, with navigating the editor. We're gonna talk talk about all of the basics like what is an event graph, what are blueprints, what are nodes, what is a function, what are variables and all of those stuff we're going to cover. And that should set you up with some basic knowledge of what you can even do within this editor. Then when we covered all of these basics, you should have some knowledge of how to program and basically what makes up the editor. From there on, we're going to take a look at the Unreal Engine 4 framework, where we are also going to discuss all of the terms that Unreal Engine uses. So if you ever have yourself asking, what is an actor, what's a component, what's a player controller? In that part, we're going to be covering all of these classes mostly, and we're gonna be explaining what these classes are and what they are best used for. We are then going to be talking more about the actual framework in which I'm going to be talking about what do you program in a pawn class or in a character class, what do you use a player controller for, what do you use a game mode for, game state, player state, game instance, game mode, all of those. And those are basics that you need to understand in order to be good with Unreal Engine because I have a lot of people asking questions also in the Discord server about what do I program where, why would I program this either in the game mode or in the player controller class. So those I'm going to be covering and I think that's really important for any Unreal Engine user to properly understand. From there on we're also going to be creating an actual game and I think that that's great because instead of only talking about these concepts I'm also going to visually show you how to set up your first custom character, how to then make a proper player controller and what the goal of a player controller is, how to program all of your game rules inside of a game mode and how to make everything work with each other. Also multiplayer ready as well. So the complete setup of this game is gonna be multiplayer ready from the get go because I think multiplayer is just the future in games and I believe that no game can go without it nowadays. So it's always good to just make your game multiplayer ready from the start. Then we're also gonna be looking at how to set up user interface and how to make user interface communicate with all of these gameplay classes such as this game mode and this player state so that the user has this nice interface set up basically and that summarizes the game that we're going to be creating now this game we're also going to be uploading on our website in the courses section so over at kekdol.com we have kekdol.com slash courses where we're going to be uploading multiple courses this one is going to be completely free there is going to be courses in the future such as how to make a third person shooter how to make a multiplayer racing game and any courses that you guys might want to see you can just request and we might make them then we're also going to look at another important part which is player data management and i believe 
believe that this is poorly covered throughout YouTube. So what I mean by this is ways to save player data. So for instance, you want to set up an account creation system, but you also want to save player data, such as what's the username of the player, what's the level of the player, what are the stats of the player, etc. For instance, a player inventory, player friend list. And there is out of the box solutions for these, such as backend test service solutions like PlayFub. So we're going to be diving into third party softwares like that as well. Then we're also going to be looking at the Steam online subsystem, which we're going to be using for our multiplayer setup, especially our matchmaking setup. And we're going to be looking at a couple of great plugins that I recommend for Steam, such as the advanced Steam session plugin, or for instance, the Steam core plugin from the marketplace. Uh, when you got all of that done, you basically have the ability to program a game. So we are making this third person platformer, but you could just as well create any other game using this workflow that we're gonna be teaching you here. So whether or not you wanna make a racing game or a single player storytelling game, the workflow that we're teaching you here is the basic workflow of what to program where without any, it doesn't matter what game you're making. <laughs> Okay, and then finally, what is also poorly covered on the internet is that we are going to be actually showing you how to upload your game to Steam. So not only are we gonna be making a game, because I see a lot of tutorials out there and then a lot of people are probably working on a great project, but at some point you wanna actually put this game up on Steam. So that's the last part of this course, part four, distributing your game. And here we're going to be walking you through how to make an actual Steamworks account, how to then upload your game to Steam, how to then version control it so that you can basically basically uh, publish updates, how to then test your game with friends, and finally how to click on that release button so that it's actually for sale. And this all together should set you up with that ultimate uncomplicated arranging guide workflow and mindset with which you basically as an indie developer should be able to create any type of game. We are applying these methods as well in our own game. So we're using this for Kekdo Plaza and also for Coin Battle and for more games coming in the future. <laughs> Now, another thing that I want to plug real quick is that we also have tutorials.cactyl.com, like I briefly mentioned. And over here, we are going to have actual copy-paste gameplay examples. So these are going to be tutorials, uh, all documented, which you can copy-paste. So you, you, you should think of stuff like how to make a jetpack, how to make a drivable car, how to set up a, a free-looking camera, how to zoom in and out. So this is going to be ever-expanding. And if you guys have stuff that you want to see there documented, then, then ju just, just request it and I will set it up, for instance, uh, I made videos about how to make the top-down template multiplayer ready in a proper way. All of those types of stuff we're going to be documenting in this huge list of ever-expanding copy-paste code. And together with this ever-expanding copy-paste code, we're also going to be having a lot of Unreal Engine for assets, which we are going to be releasing on our marketplace. That is the actual Unreal Engine for Cactus Marketplace, which we're going to be uploading cool assets in the future. Yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you're looking forward to this guide and to this epic series. And let's get to the first video. Goodbye, guys.